Hello, I'm Dave Walters of DW Windows and I uh, thought I'd pop on and try and make some sense of the fencer regulations um, try and put things into layman's terms really. Um, so, what are the fence regulations? Fence regulations, it was bought in April of 2002, 16 years ago or so, uh, to ensure that double glazing companies were fitting windows correctly and they complied with current building regulations. Um, DW Windows, we're a, we're a fence registered company and basically what that means is we have got the authority through vetting and those other things that Fencer have done on us, we have the authority to be able to certify that a, a job has been installed to, to, to fence up or building regulations standards. Uh, and what that means is when we fit the installation, we have to make sure that we use the correct uh, glass, fire escapes, uh, looking in bear in mind safety and the, and the structure of your building as well. Uh, once we're happy with that and once we've fitted the job, we will register the job with Fencer and they will send you a certificate within within 30 days. They may want to come and check upon us and make sure that either during the installation or after the installation, they may get in touch with you to, to, uh, to, to come and check on us, basically. So although we're a self-regulating company, we do get, we do get checked up on. Um, okay, so today I wanted to talk for a little bit more about structure, which is document A of the Fencer or the building regulations. Yeah, so structure, what that, what that means is we have to ensure that um, no windows or doors are load bearing. Uh, in the past, in the 30s, they used to use big thick timber frames and actually build on top of that, um, which was fine back in the day. But then when we come and change the windows for plastic windows that are off the size, obviously they can't take the strain. Um, so we have to basically ensure that the, the the structure is not going to be affected by us fitting new UPVC windows. Um, question one, these are frequently asked questions really that people have asked me over the years. Do we have to fit lint lintels to every window and door? And in new build, yes, any, anything under the current regulations, a lintel must be fitted and the builder will do that. Uh, but replacement windows, no, we don't have to fit a lintel every time. So if we um, if we're changing your windows and we and, and your windows already got a lintel in obviously, or whether there's soldier bricks above the window and they are doing the job and they're not failed in any way, then we don't have to charge people for a lintel just for the sake of it. Um, as long as we're satisfied that the uh, the window's not going to be receiving any of the load from the from the building. Um, how do we know if a window's gonna need a lintel? Well, it's through experience, mainly. You know, this is what we do day in, day out. Our surveyors are, are all time served surveyors who can, who can spot for, for various telltale, telltale signs. First one being broken glass uh, in the existing window. If there's any weight on that window, the first thing that's gonna break is the glass. Secondly, any cracks above the window uh, and the normal pyramid above a window that, that we see from time to time. That are, that's telltale signs that, that wind, as soon as you take that window out, then bricks are gonna to wanna to fall out. And that's the last thing that, that we want. Um, and local knowledge as well. We may have worked for your neighbors, we may have worked in the area, we may have seen your type of property before uh, and we can normally tell in advance, but not every time. We can look at a job and think, yeah, this is a 1970s house, 1980s, it's got over lintel in, should be okay, um, but it might have been an unscrupulous builder who built it not to regulations. We turn up, try and take the window out and the brickwork start, starts to drop. So uh, what we like to do is only charge people for lintels whenever we, sure that it needs one but sometimes customers do get caught out you know that we turn up start taking the window out the brickwork starts to move and then we do have to kind of have a conversation with the customer to uh, to 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 agree a price for fitting the lintel it's the last thing we want to do is fit lintels we're a, we're a double glazing company so uh, if we if every window in the world had a lintel we could just come in without any danger of that brickwork moving then we'd uh, that happy day so if we do have to charge customers for a lintel it, it ain't to make money it's just that we've got to do the job properly 
Uh, who has to pay for the lintel? I've just mentioned that. It's the customer's uh, property. The customer needs to pay for the lintel. There are companies out there that will say, turn a blind eye and we'll put some packers up there. And a bit of silicon, it'll be all right. We're not that way inclined. We'd rather do it properly. We do lose some jobs because we only do jobs properly. Um, but it, it is down to the customer to pay. And what we normally do is, is in advance, we'll arrange a price for doing the lintel if it's obvious it needs one. Or we'll say, we're unsure. We can't tell until we take the window out. We'll bring some lintels with us anyway. And we'll agree a price just in case we have to fit one when the fitters turn up. Um, and what about load bearing bay windows? Yeah, low bearing bay windows, normally in the old sort of traditional 30s houses, bay windows with brickwork or tiles above, there's a lot of weight. Even in some cases, they take the weight of the roof of the, the main building. So we have to, uh, there's various other things that we can do. We can strengthen the frames uh, and we always use reinforced bay poles, which is a, an aluminium or steel reinforcement in the joint of each window, just to transfer some of that weight from the, the brickwork above down through the ceiling into the ground uh, and, and then if it's a worst case scenario we, we do jacking plates which we a uh, small acros bit basically that go inside the the uh, the actual bay pole and that then we can actually wind them up and lift a, a, a bay window and take any weight off um, of, of, of what we're going to be fitting below so yeah that's a little bit about the structure i'll get back to you soon with the next section but i hope that makes a little bit of sense um but like i said there are companies out there who will bend the rules but uh, we try and keep it straightforward honest and if we're going to do a job we only want to do it properly so thanks for listening and uh if you if you do want to speak to anyone and get any advice it's dw windows you can check us out on the uh, on facebook and on the internet www.dwwindows.co.uk or if you want a free quote give us a call on 0800 999 0909 thank you bye